So um, I've begun looking into my life as much as I can remember of it. And um, I used to teach Taekwondo in East Barnet, North London. And I called the school Taekwondo Excel. And I know that somebody else has taken over that name. And I believe they teach Taekwondo in the same school that I used. I'm thinking that um, I hope the students that I had have adopted the new school and, and they're being supported and it's working well for them. It is such a shame that it has come to an end for my teaching. And everything about me losing contact with the school is a mystery right now. But I do believe it was a suicide attempt. And it has led to a complete loss of memory. So things are very confusing. One thing I find surprising is that um, I my memory is badly affected and I simply don't have a memory. But um, there are some things remaining in my memory, even though everything else is mainly gone. I can't remember what my children look like. I can't remember where I was living. I can't remember what car I was driving, but I do remember the name of the hall manager where I taught Taekwondo. And I can remember the Taekwondo oath. And so I'm deeply surprised where I can't remember what my children look like, but I can remember something like the Taekwondo oath. So it really doesn't make sense how my memory works and doesn't work. It is a strange situation. I'm thinking that if some parts of my memory work, it does give me hope that I can recover more memory in time. But I believe I had my brain injury in 2015. And so if seven years have passed, and this is my situation now, it's hard to have hope. But I do have some memories. So I still retain hope. I don't think I'm kidding myself. I'm hoping that there is still a chance. So life is very much a mystery right now. And I'm trying to maintain hope. But seven years have passed. And so it is not easy to maintain hope. So I plain don't know what life is right now. I, th I don't know how to make progress at the moment. All I can do for now is survive.